This mini split air conditioner is showing an EL01 error code on the display. I will give you the details on how to fix this error in this video. Let me tell you a situation. If you have recently cleaned your mini split air conditioner and then installed it back, your air conditioner has started to show the EL01 error code, or if your mini split air conditioner is old, it suddenly starts showing this EL01 error code. Then, in both these situations, this error could have a slightly different fix. The first possible reason this error is shown could be in the wiring connections of the air conditioner you have installed between the indoor and the outdoor unit. You may have made the wrong wiring connection in your air conditioner. If your air conditioner is brand new and you are using old wires, change that old wire because it could have already been burned or disconnected from somewhere. And this could be the reason that this error is being shown on the display. If the wire you have installed is new, still check the wire. And if the wires are fine, then, check for the wiring connection you made between the indoor and the outdoor unit. If the wiring connections are wrong, correct the connections you have made. The method to correct the wiring connection is that you will check this connector on the indoor unit. 1L, then 2N, S, and the earthing wire symbol are made here. You will have to check the color code of your wires. That what color wire is install on which terminal of the indoor connector. In the connector of my indoor unit, red, black, white, and yellow-green colored wires are installed. The outdoor unit will also have the same connector, which will have the same symbols made on it. You will need to install the same colored wires on those terminals of the outdoor unit as installed in the indoor unit. The connections will be fixed. After fixing these wiring connections, your air conditioner has a chance to get rid of this error code. But if you have installed the red wire on the L terminal, the same red wire on the outdoor unit is installed on the S terminal. Then, it will be a huge wiring mistake. Due to this mistake, the indoor and outdoor circuit board communication section could be damaged permanently. In that situation, you will need to check the circuit boards. This error code is technically named serial communication error between the indoor and the outdoor unit, which means the indoor and outdoor units are not able to talk properly with one another. Now, if your air conditioner is quite old and has been working for a very long time, but this error code has suddenly started to show, then the possible faults in this case are many. So let me explain every problem to you one by one. To trace this fault, I recommend starting it from the indoor unit. I have installed the multimeter probes with the terminals of the connector. If you have a multimeter, it would be best. But if you don't have one, you can trace this problem with a tester as well. Let me explain to you how. I have set the multimeter on AC voltages, the probes of the multimeter I have installed with the line and neutral terminals of the connector. As the indoor is working and electricity is passing through it, when we turn it on with the remote, then the error is shown. The display has turned on, and the error will start to show on the display. Now, I will have to check the output from the circuit board. Because the electricity in this unit first moves towards the indoor circuit board, the switching relay in the circuit board turns on. Then the electricity moves towards the outdoor unit. Now, I will have to check whether the electricity is moving towards the outdoor unit or not. After the unit is powered on, the relay sometimes turns on after some time. Wait for a couple of minutes. If the electricity has started to pass through the circuit board, well and good. Otherwise, you will have to open the circuit board of the indoor unit because, in this case, it could have some problems. Now, when you place the tester on the line terminal, the tester should glow in case the electricity has been switched on from the circuit board. If the switching relay is not turned on, it will not glow. Obviously, on the neutral terminal, it will not glow. Now, I have been waiting for quite a while. I have heard the sound of the switching relay from the circuit board. But the electricity is not passing through the terminals of the connector. The multimeter is not showing it. This means that something is wrong with its circuit board. I will now open the circuit board and check it. You can see that I have removed the circuit board of this unit. With this unit's main circuit board, the company has attached the relay in a separate smaller circuit board. It's benefit for me that I will not need to remove the main circuit board. I can easily check this relay now. If any wire disconnects or you see any wire has been burned, immediately fix that wire. In this unit right now, these brown wires are 12 volts. These 12 volts are supplied to this smaller circuit through the main circuit board. This relay functions through these 12 volts. If the circuit's connector is disconnected or you have cleaned the air conditioner and forgot to attach it back, so then connect it back. Let's see the next situation now. Now, if you have supplied electricity to the unit and you have not turned it on with the remote, but still, the electricity supply is passing through your air conditioner, then this means that the switching relay in your circuit board is fine. It has no such issue. 220 volts are passing through the air conditioner right now. If you have no multimeter, 
then check it with a tester. Now, when I am checking it with a tester, the light on the tester is glowing. This means that the supply is passing through the unit. This way, you will know what is going on with your unit. Now, after that, you have to check its communication. I have not turned on the circuit board with the remote for quite a while. The switching relay of the circuit board has turned off and stopped the electricity supply. On checking with the tester, the supply is not passing through the live wire. I will turn the air conditioner on with the remote. The switching relay has not turned on immediately. The supply has not passed through the terminals of the connector. Now, I will have to wait for it. And here we go. The switching relay has turned on. The blower motor has also started. You will have to check it this way. And you will understand. After checking the indoor unit thoroughly, and you find everything okay, but the communication system of the circuit board is not working fine, then this means that the outdoor unit of your air conditioner could be bad. Then, go towards the outdoor unit. Check the electricity and the communication system in the outdoor unit, as how I checked it on the indoor unit. If the electricity is passing and the communication system on the outdoor unit is not working fine, this means that this wire is bad, or the circuit board installed in the outdoor unit is bad. You will see a circuit board like this by opening the outdoor unit cover. And after the communication and the electricity, check the circuit board because if the fuse installed in the circuit board is blown, the circuit board will not work. Thus, the error code will be shown on the display of your air conditioner. If any other major component, like switching IC or the SMPS circuit, goes bad, still, this EL01 error code will be displayed in your air conditioner. Then, you will need to repair the circuit board. Once again, I am telling you to check the wire attached to your air conditioner thoroughly. Other than this, the circuit board is bad. I have a playlist of AC repair videos that you can watch to learn more. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.